Hi everyone, Miss Terry here. It is M week and we are going to do a song about monkeys. M is for monkeys. Five little monkeys to be exact. Let's check them out. One, two, three, four, and five. Five little monkeys. We're going to sing a song about five monkeys jumping on the bed. Now, is it safe for monkeys to be jumping on the bed? I'm not sure, but let's find out. Let's sing our song. So we'll be um, counting backwards from five because our monkeys are going to fall off the bed, <coughs> excuse me, one at a time. We'll start with five, and then there'll be four, and three, and two, and then one, and then none. Let's get started. You don't have the monkeys at home with you, so you'll need to use just your fingers. Each of your fingers will be a monkey. One, two, three, four, and five. You ready to get started? Here we go, get your monkeys ready. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Okay, we had five and one fell off and bumped his head. That leaves us with four. Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. All righty. There were four monkeys and one fell off and bumped his head. So how many are left? Three. Three little monkeys. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. All right. So we had three and one more fell off. Now we're left with two. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Two, now we're down to one. One little monkey jumping on the bed. He fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. How many monkeys are left? None. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. You can do that as many times as you want. It's a great song. Once you learn it, you don't need to watch Miss Terry do it at all. You can do it with your sisters or your brothers, your grandmas, your grandpas. You can get on Zoom and do it with your friends. Enjoy it. It's a great song. And it's a great way to practice your motor skills and your singing skills and your talking skills and your learning word skills. You're going to need all those things for kindergarten. So keep practicing and I'll see you soon. Bye now.